and I think that whole back now are we going to be able just to approve this one order and that covers these first four items is that correct I would just I would approve the order and just read the items that it the nine items that are on there and then uh, we we would uh, uh, again have we'd have to have a separate uh, item for the whole back number it's not on here. That's what I mean. Well, it, it's part of it's part of the transition agreement, but it would be you know we're just setting it as part of the agreement. And, and so we we right now, we would need to to uh, approve the uh, the high school lease assignment transition agreement between the authority, the county, and the foundation. The nursing home lease assignment transition agreement between the authority, the county, and the Glen Rose Medical Center nursing home and the foundation. The amended and restated hospital lease agreement between the authority and the county. The amended and restated nursing home lease agreement between the authority and the county. All applications, filings, and notices made are given today to prepare for or facilitate the transition of the hospital nursing slash nursing home operations are hereby ratified and approved. All of course appropriate actions for the benefit of the county are the authority taken today to prepare for and facilitate the transition of the hospital slash nursing home operation. The county judge is hereby approved and authorized to execute the above referred to agreements on behalf of the county and to execute, submit, and or file all other instruments, applications, certifications, and other items necessary and proper to carry out <coughs> transaction and operational transition envisioned by the above referred to agreements and to bind the county or make uh, representation <coughs> on behalf of the county thereby. So that's what you're asking us to approve today and then we're also to approve a, a whole back amount of whatever we decide to accept. Are we ready? I can make a motion. Expenses that are, are accruing through the attorney fees or whatever. Who's got to write the check? Is the foundation still a. The foundation is still write the check. They're not going to dissolve until everything's clear. Everything's already done. The authority's up and running. And everything's met with the right. contract. So that money is actually going to stay in their, in their account. They will be approved on the whole stay within the foundation until it's finished and then if there's anything left over in transition. And I would prefer that there's nothing in there that you wouldn't have to add to it. I understand that <coughs> so that would give us a, a just a kind of a type of appearance for financing the party to
the basic, I think, he's starting to, to accomplish uh, with everything we can think of, uh, the transition of operations. Uh, my understanding is that the, the will of the court was to go back to the hospital authority uh, type arrangement so it would be more public oversight. Uh, if you're going to have to subsidize it anyway, then you want the public oversight. Well, and, yeah, I, I don't think there's any question about any of that. I, here's one of the things that keeps hanging on me is, is it, and I, and I know that every, every instance where something like this happens, there is probably a myriad of different ways you can go as far as the agreement. But on the uh, audit, for instance, is it, are we looking at eventually two audits? Because the, kind of the authority may feel like it's more incumbent upon them to do their own audit as they begin starting here that's completely within their control uh, as, a, as opposed to accepting one from the foundation, which they can, I mean, they'll be able to verify. That's the, that's the question that's bounced around. Well, the authority, well, authority, the authority, the authority contracts to do it, the authority to pay. Well, that's true, <laughs> but let's, talk, let's be honest here. It, it's money out of this pocket, it's right. money out of this pocket. All that's of the true. money out of the transit, out of the foundation, and all of the debts are going over to the authority, no matter. Exactly. But for Medicare to get a check from, from, the, from the authority to cover a foundation bill, it's probably going to be a problem. They're going to kick it back. And that's what the holdback as far as for these accounts that a check coming from the authority would probably cause the issue. And that's where the, otherwise we just transfer it all over and it's over. But they know there's going to be some obligations. I believe this is correct that the, that the foundation has obligated for a wood transit over to the authority, but it's just going to be a problem for the authority to write a check. Well, it, it, the reality is that, like, on your issue about audit, it may be that the authority and the foundation, after, you know, they get into the actual process, may decide to do a joint or do something uh, different. Or, or the authority may say, well, why don't, you know, why, why don't we just do an audit and you, you can use this? Or, I don't know. but. That's something I think is more detail oriented than uh, than what we're trying to do today. I understand your question, but that's probably something for these smart guys that are number crunchers to get into than rather than me because I'm I'm not a number cruncher. I'm a worst. And I'm not I'm not saying what you presented us isn't the right document. I just want to be sure that we all understand this really has to be a cooperative effort here. There's no sense in spending money twice for the same product. And uh, I, I just had in my mind at one point in discussions that we were talking with about this that, that the, once the authority came into place, that they were going to be taking care of that kind of stuff. I see how it may be helpful to do it that way, and I certainly understand the whole back perspective of costs 